Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Marlins Park, where the 24-11 first place Marlins play host to the 18-16 and 16 Atlanta Braves in an NL East matchup. Edison Volquez got the nod for the Marlins. He's got seven starts so far in the year. He's 4-3 with a 4.10 ERA in 37 innings pitched. He's allowed 15 walks and struck out 31 batters. And making his way to the batter's box to lead things off for this Braves ball club is the Gold Glove center fielder Ender Inciarte. Digs in with a 1-2 count. Here comes the pitch from Volquez. That's swung on and taken at the left field. It'll be a bloop single in front of Ozuna, who has some trouble with it in left. But he's going to get it in and hold Inciarte to a single. So that brings up Adonis Garcia, the third baseman. Not hitting in the two order since he's had this hot start to the season. Digs in with a runner on first. Volquez sets and fires. That's going to be granted down to the third baseline. He has no play at second. So they go across the diamond and retire Garcia for out number one. But Inciarte moves up to second base. And the Braves lineup to this ball game is Inciarte in center. Followed by Garcia at third. Third hitter is first baseman Freddie Freeman. Followed by right field Matt Kemp. Left is Mark Kakis. Catching is Tyler Flowers. Followed by shortstop Dansby Swanson, second baseman Brandon Phillips, and then the pitcher. So the next batter up is Freddie Freeman, hitting 317 so far in the season with seven home runs and 15 RBI. Him and Garcia are leading in the charge for this Braves ball club. Volquez looks down the runner in Ciarte. Here comes the pitch. As Freeman grinds this one to second baseman Dietrich, he makes the play, and that is going to be a out on a ground out for Freddie Freeman, but he does move in Ciarte up to third base, and here comes Matt Kemp who is hitting significantly better on the road than he is at home. A 274 clip opposed to a 174 at home. So 1-0 -oh count on him. Volquez sets at the chest. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be an awkward swing that lands in front of Dietrich. He has to hurry, and he can't quite get a Matt Kemp infield single for an RBI. And the Braves strike first in this one as Enciarte comes in to score. 1-0 Braves, and now here's Nick Marcakis, the left fielder who is hitting significantly better at home as opposed to on the road. But he digs in with an 0-1 count. Here comes the pitch from Volquez. That'll be taken opposite way down left field line. Ozuna's quickly cutting it off, so nobody's able to move up more than one base. And we have runners on first and second here for the Braves as the catcher Tyler Flowers steps into the batter's box. Volquez sets at the chest, looks down both runners, fires... And that'll be a ground at the shortstop. Hechevarria tosses over the second for the easy out. And that'll wrap things up here for this top half of the first inning as the Braves strike for one on three hits. Welcome back to the bottom half of the first inning as Mike Foltenewitz is on the bump for the Braves ball club. He is making his seventh start of the season. He's got a 4-0 start to the year with a 2.45 ERA, 9 walks, 30 strikeouts, and 33 innings. He's gotten to a solid start in the number 5 spot in that Braves rotation. And he'll be facing an interesting leadoff catcher in JT Real Muto to start off this game. Here comes the first pitch from Fultonowitz, and that is taken for strike, or swung, swung through for strike 1. So the 0-1 pitch, here it comes. That's a ground ball to third base. Garcia fields, fires across the diamond, and Real Muto is retired for out number one. The Marlins lineup on this game is catching Real Muto, leading things off. Left field, Azuna. Right field, Giancarlo Stanton. First base, Boer in the cleanup spot, followed by second base, Dietrich. Shortstop, Hechevarria. Center field is Alex Glenn. Third base, Miguel Rojas, and then the pitcher spot. So here comes Marcel Ozuna, who is tearing the cover off the ball at home here with a 306 average. Digs into that right-hander's batter's box. 2-1 count from Fulte. And that's going to be ripped over the head of the second baseman into the right field gap. Inciarte charges it into the corner. And that's going to be a double for Ozuna as the ball gets in quickly to the cutoff man, Swanson. But Ozuna does have himself that double. So Ozuna on second now brings up the big bat of Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch to him from Fulte is going to be fouled down the first baseline into the little cutout for the camera. 0-2 count now on Stan. Here comes the pitch. And that nicks the down and away corner on the big curveball. 
He goes down looking stat and is not happy about that one. And now here comes Justin Bohr. Big country boy power hitter. Batting from the left-handed side of the plate with a 2-1 count as Fulty sets at the neck. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. Phillips is there for that one. He tosses over to first. And that retires Bohr for the final out of the inning. So at the end of one innings, we have ourselves a 1-0 Braves lead. Three hits for the Braves, one for the Marlins. And we're back here at Marlins Park for the bottom half of the third inning as Miguel Rojas, the third baseman, digs in to the batter's box. Here comes the first pitch of the inning from Fultonowitz. And that's going to be a ground ball over to third base. Garcia fires across the diamond. Freeman with a scoop, and that is out number one. So Rojas is retired, and that will bring up the pitcher spot in Edison Volquez. Not a very good hitting pitcher as he has an 083 batting average on the season. 0-2 count to him. Here it comes. And Volquez manages a base hit. That's going to land in front of Inciarte. Nobody can get to that one. So there's a single for Edison Volquez. And he's on first with one out. And that'll bring up the top of the order, starting with JT Realmuto. That'll be ball one, first pitch to him. Slider way away. So the 1-0 count as Fulty sets at the face. And that's going to be past the diving glove of Swanson into left field. There's a single for Realmuto. So Volquez moves up to second, and the Marlins have runners on first and second here for Zuna with one out. Here comes the pitch from Fultonowitz, and that's going to be fouled off for strike one. So Kat runs 0-1 as Fulty sets and fires. Ground ball over to third. Garcia stabs at it, goes to second with it. Can they turn two? They cannot. They only get the... Runner at second, so the Marlins have runners on the corners now with the dangerous bat in their order, Giancarlo Stanton coming to the plate. He was struck out in his at bat in the first inning. And he digs in here with two outs, runners on the corners. First pitch taken inside for ball one. So count runs 3-2 now on Stanton. Fulty sets and fires. And that's going to be a ball four. Tried to get him on the curveball on the risky full count there. But instead, they're going to just walk him, and they're going to bring up Justin Bohr, the cleanup hitter. Left-handed cleanup hitter to face the right-handed pitcher of Fultonowitz. As he sets, here comes the first pitch. That's going to be a ground ball past Garcia. Should have been caught, but one run will come in to score. And Real Muto has to hold up at third base. So Justin Borg knocks in a run and ties the game at one here for the Marlins. And now it's bases loaded for Derek Dietrich. First pitch to him is whiff through 99 mile per hour fastball on the gun up and in. Cannot catch up to that one. Count runs 1-2 now here in Dietrich. Here comes the pitch. Dietrich gives this one a ride at the left center field. It keeps carrying and it carries over the wall. Derek Dietrich with a grand slam here for the Marlins, and he busts this one wide open for this Marlins ball club. Grand slam drives in all of the power hitters, and Dietrich with his fourth home run of the season makes it a 5-1 Marlins lead here in this ball game as it's two outs. Echeverria comes up, hits the ball right back up the middle, and this nightmare of an inning for Fulty is not over quite yet. As Hechevaria is on base, that'll bring up the center fielder, Alex Glenn. 1-1 one, one count on him. Here comes the pitch from Fultonowitz. Swung on, grounded at the shortstop. Swanson fires over to second. Phillips is there for the final out of the inning, but not before the Marlins strike 4-5 in that inning to bust this one open. 5-1 lead on the grand slam and an RBI single here at the end of three. Welcome back to the top half of the fourth inning as Nick Markakis digs into the batter's box to lead off this half of the inning. The left fielder, veteran left fielder, digs in with a full count. Here comes the pitch from Volquez. And that's taken for ball four, so Nick Markakis will take his base. Not exactly the fleetest of feet over there at first base. Used to be in his career, but not too much now in his later days. As Tyler Flowers, the power-hitting catcher, digs in. But he only has one home run so far in the season, so power numbers are definitely a bit down for him. Volquez sets and delivers the first pitch as that swung on and popped up to center field. Alex Glenn is under that one. He retires it for out number one as Marquecas has to go back to first base. 
So one down now with Marquecas on first. That brings up Dansby Swanson, who singled back in the second inning. The young shortstop digs in with a 2-0 count. Volquez sets at the neck. Kicks and fires. As Swanson rips this one over the head of Hechevria. That's in the left center field gap. Ozuna is there, or correction, Glenn is there to cut that one off. As Marquecas does go first to third, but Swanson stays at first. So runners on the corners here for Brandon Phillips with a 1-0 count. Here comes the pitch. And Phillips takes this one up the middle into center field. That'll score one. Swanson's heading into third. He will be there. So runners on the corners now as the Braves are trying to get back into this one. There's an RBI single for Phillips. And now that'll end Fultonowitz's day as Dominic Brown comes into pinch hit here in this top half of the fourth. So Fultonowitz can't even get through four. Gets taken out after three. And Brown grounds this one out to first base. Bohr makes the tag, but a run does come in as it is now a 5-2-3 game, two-run game just like that, and now here's Ender Inciarte with a runner on second and two outs. Braves at the back of the top of the order. The pitch is swung on and ripped back up the middle past the diving glove of Dietrich. Run around third, here he comes to the plate. He will be uncontested, but the throw goes the second, and Inciarte is tagged. So the Braves get back within one run that inning as they strike for three. 5-4 is your score halfway through four. Welcome back to the top half of the seventh inning as Nick Whitgren comes in for the Marlins. They struck for one more earlier in the game, so it is now a 6-4 Marlins lead. And here comes Alex Leedy to come in to pinch hit for the pitcher. The power-hitting Italian. First pitch to him is swung on and ripped into left field, but I'll be right at Ozuna as he is there to retire that one for out number one. So that brings the Braves back to the top of the order. Ender Inciarte, who is two for three with two singles on the day, digs in with a 1-1 one -one count. Here comes the pitch from Whitgren. And then I'll be slapped into left field in front of Ozuna. There's a third single on the day for Ender Inciarte doing his job as that slap hitter leadoff man as he's now 3 for 4 on the day, and that brings up Adonis Garcia. The pitch out of the stretch from Whitgren, taken just next to the bottom half of the strike zone for strike 1. So now the 0-1 counts on Garcia with Inciarte at first. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be ripped back up the middle into center field, and Inciarte will hold up at second base, not going to test the arm of Alex Glenn as that one was in shallow center. And now runners on first and second. Brings up Freddie Freeman. The pitch from Whitgren. Taken up and away for ball one. Cat runs 2-0 here on Freeman. Runners on first and second. One out. Here comes the pitch. And that is swung on and clobbered to right center field as Freddie Freeman with one swing of the bat gives the Braves their first lead of the game since the first inning. Freddie Freeman, his eighth home run of the season goes 433 feet, and just like that, it's a 7-6 Braves lead. And now Matt Kemp digs into the batter's box. He swings on that one, but pops it up to center field as Glenn is there to retire that one two away. Here is the main point of this inning is Freddie Freeman's three-run jack. As now Nick Markakis digs into the batter's box. He's one for two on the day. He walked and he has a single. Here comes the first pitch to him. And Markakis jumps on that one. Doesn't hit it very far though as the third baseman Rojas is there to put that one away. And that's the final out of the inning. But not before the Braves strike for three and make it a 7-6 to six lead for them here halfway through seven. Here we are in the bottom half of the ninth inning as the Braves still have a 7-6 lead and Jim Johnson comes into the bullpen for this Braves ball club looking for his 10th save of the season. His ERA is now 5.06 on the year, definitely improved from earlier on in the season. 0-2 pitch to the first battery faces. That'll be chopped back to Johnson, feels this one himself, and that's an easy out number one. So one down now as there you see where he stacks up against the league. Nine saves is pretty high up there in the uh, NL save men. But he does have that 5.06 ERA as Miguel Rojas digs in the third baseman. 1-0 count to him. Johnson over the head, kicks and fires. 
And that'll be ripped in between the shift there as they had the corners shaded towards. And that Rojas rips that right in between that little gap. And now that brings up Christian Yelich, who is pinch hitting for the pitcher. First pitch to him is taken for ball one. Sinker down and away. One, two, count now to Yelich. Johnson sets at the belt. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be ripped to dead center field. Inciarte looks up, and that one is way out of here. Into that desert grass in center field. And just like that, the Marlins strike back on top, and they walk this one off. Christian Yelich with a two-run shot as the Braves will... Blow the save there with Jim Johnson. Marlins win this one 8-7 thanks to a pinch hit home run from Christian Yelich. Despite Christian Yelich's two-run home run to win the game, Derek Dietrich is the one who gets himself player of the game. His only hit was the grand slam. Yelich's only hit was the home run that walked it off. Stanton also had himself a solo shot in the fifth inning to Make it a two-run lead that the Braves ended up climbing back and going on top of the Freeman 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 three-run shot. In CR3 was three for five with three singles. Kemp went two for four. Jim Johnson gets the loss as he blew the save. Janichi Tazawa gets the win for the Marlins. And with that being said, that's gonna wrap things up here for this edition of Braves Baseball. I've been your host, Jersey Born. I'm saying goodbye. Hey, we won't let tears on a